हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज अमल मोरे एंड वेलकम टू अवर चैनल सोल्यूशन टू ब्लैक बुक नाउ टूडे वन ऑफ अवर फेलो लर्नर्स हैज आस्ट दिस डाउट दिस डाउट बिलोंग्स टू डेफिनेट इंटीग्रेशन और यू कैन से एरिया अंडर द कर नाउ एरिया अंडर द कर हैज वेरी नाइस क्वेश्चन सच एज दिस फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द लूप ऑफ द कर इट मीन्स that there will be a loop formation and we need to calculate the area of the loop of the curve so in doing such questions you need to understand three things first thing is what is the value of y for sketching the curve second thing is domain and third thing is zeros of the polynomial when y is zero what are the values of x so remember carefully in doing such questions you need to understand these three things first is what is the value of y second is domain and third and very important is what are the zeros of the polynomial it means when y is zero what are the values of x now let us do them one by one and understand let us do first what is the value of y so over here you can see that y square is equal to x minus 5 the whole square upon 4 into x minus 1 now let us take square root when you take square root definitely it will be plus minus x minus 5 by 2 under root x minus 1 here is the value of y and we all know y is nothing but fx so for sketching the curve this fx value will be very very useful very good now we got the first thing which is the value of y now the second thing is what is the domain now for domain you simply check the denominators square roots and log values so over here the denominator is 2 which is totally fine second thing here the square root has the value x minus 1 as we all know inside the square root only zero and positive values are accepted no negative values are accepted hence what we will do is x minus 1 should be greater than or equal to 0 because it is present inside the square root sign therefore x is greater than or equal to 1 therefore the domain of this fx curve is actually from 1 to infinity now this was the second thing which is very very important first thing was what is the value of y second thing is the domain now why is calculating domain very important now domain tells you where does the curve exist now this curve will exist from 1 up to infinity it will not exist behind 1 so that's what is important now the third and very important thing is when the value of y is 0 what are the values of x therefore x minus 5 by 2 square root of x minus 1 is equal to 0 therefore x minus 5 equal to 0 or x minus 1 equal to 0 therefore x equal to 5 or x equal to 1 it means at this two values of x that is 1 and 5 the value of y goes 0 it means at this two points 5 and 1 the curve the fx intersects the x axis now this will be very important in order to form the loop very good now let us try and understand how to sketch the loop so first of all let us see what are the three things y domain and the values of x when y is equal to 0 in any question you will be requiring this now let us first draw the xy coordinate system for better understanding and let me draw the curve so y is equal to plus minus x minus 5 by 2 square root of x minus 1 as we all know that at 1 comma 0 the curve exists and 5 comma 0 the curve exists it means when the value of x is 1 value of y is 0 so this lies on the curve when the value of x is 5 value of y is 0 so this lies on the curve okay now you got to put any other values of x between 1 to 5 you will get many values of y 
सपोज आई कंसिडर वाई इज इक्वल टू पॉजिटिव एक्स माइनस फाइव बाय टू एंड रूट ऑफ एक्स माइनस वन बिटवीन वन एंड फाइव यू कैन सी टू एग्जिस्ट सो लेट अस पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एस टू टू माइनस फाइव विल बी माइनस थ्री माइनस थ्री अपॉन टू विल बी माइनस थ्री अपॉन टू एंड टू माइनस वन विल बी वन सो रूट ऑफ वन इज वन तो माइनस थ्री अपॉन टू सो टू कॉमा माइनस थ्री अपॉन टू विल बी समवेयर हियर सो सच वैल्यूज यू विल स्टार्ट डिटरमाइनिंग एंड एज यू कैन ऑब्जर्व इट फॉर्म्स अ कर्व कर्व लाइक दिस कर्व लाइक दिस इज फॉर्म वेन यू कंसिडर द पॉजिटिव स्क्वेर रूट वैल्यू यू गेट अ कर्व लाइक दिस यू कैन पुट एनी अदर वैल्यूज यू विल ऑब्जर्व दैट At one, the value is zero. Then the value goes on decreasing as you put down other values of x, and then slowly, slowly, at five again it will become zero. Five minus five, zero. If you consider the minus side, so the values are the same. The only difference is the values will be positive because this whole thing is negative. So negative, negative will become positive, and it will go up. As you can see, this particular curve. is symmetrical about x axis so whatever is the area above x axis will be below x axis now if you put any other values of x after 5 suppose you put 6 then definitely you are going to get some increasing values like this and over here also like this you can try putting the values you are only going to get such values of y let us Put one value. Suppose if I put seven, seven minus five will be two, two upon two, so that will be one, and seven minus one will be six, root six. So there will be two values of y. One is root six, and one is minus root six. So seven root six and seven minus root six, such values. If I put more values, I will get more and more and more values of y. Now the loop part is important for us. I am showing you the loop part with the purple pen. Check this above loop part. So that is nothing but the above loop part. Okay, so that is nothing but minus x minus five by two root x minus one. And now check the down loop part. That is nothing but y is equal to x minus five by two root of x minus one. Okay, so this above curve is actually x minus five by two root x minus one with a negative sign, and the below is the same with a positive sign. Okay, now both the areas are actually same. So suppose if I am to calculate the above area, so above area will be integration one to five y dx, which will be nothing but integration one to five. Minus x minus five by two root x minus one dx. Very simple. Now suppose this minus is to be observed. So five to one I can say. So I absorbed the minus sign and changed the limits. This is the definite property. Okay, definite integration used. Now we need to understand that our final answer is not just this a. it is also this a so our final answer is twice a so required area required area will be equal to 2 times a which will be equal to 2 times 5 to 1 x minus 5 by 2 root of x minus 1 dx as you can see 2 2 got cancelled and the integration is from 5 to 1 x minus 5 Root of x minus one dx. Now, how to solve such kind of definite integration sums? Very simple. You simplify the sum by putting whatever is inside the square root as t square. So, as you can see, dx is equal to two t dt. Now, when x is equal to five, you can see t square is equal to four. So, t you can take positive two. And when x is equal to one. You can see t square is equal to zero, so t equal to zero. So this is our required area of the loop. So area of the loop can be said that new integral that is from when phi then to two to zero. So this will be two to 
0 ok and then x minus 5 so x is nothing but t square plus 1 so it will be t square plus 1 minus 5 and then integration something like this i have put down all the values for x minus 1 i put t square and for dx i put 2 t dt and for x i put t square plus 1 so this will be 2 to 0 t square minus 4 2 t square dt because root of t square will be mod t and mod t into t will be t square because we are considering the positive sign so simply saying this will be 2 to 0 2 t raised to 4 minus 8 t square dt okay now we can solve this integration very simply you can say that this integration is nothing but 2 by 5 t raised to 5 minus 8 by 3 t cube and that is going from 2 to 0 so this will be something like this first we will put 0 so 0 minus 0 then we will put 2 so 2 by 5 into 2 raised to 5 minus 8 by 3 into 2 cube so this will be equal to 2 raised to 5 is 32 32 into 2 is 64 so minus 64 by 5 minus 2 cube is 8 8 into 8 is 64 so 64 upon 3 giving minus inside we will get 64 upon 3 minus 64 upon 5 and after solving this we are definitely going to get 128 upon 15 because 64 into 5 minus 64 into 3 will be equal to 64 into 2 upon 50 so 128 upon 15 is the area of this whole loop so the area of the loop is equal to 128 upon 15 square units i hope you understood what are the key steps involved over here and how to draw the curve and how to calculate the area of the loop of the curve thank you for watching the video guys and do not forget to like comment share and subscribe to our channel